I know there's brim here, but there's definitely snags too, so I don't want to be banging against the bottom. Just got you guys in the bay, in the Sydney Harbour Parramatta River system. Just having a look beneath me. The water is putrid. I'm going to try with the hard bodies first up. Alright, first up, what do we have here? Crack this open. I'm going to give this Daiwa Silver Wolf crankbait a run first up. There we go, on. Nothing, nothing significant, but fish on, guys. Second cast. And uh, looks like we picked up a little Brembo. So, looks, looks like we've made the right change. Go out in front. There we go, on. Oh, I dropped it, that was a good one too. On the paws. That's the kind of action we're looking for. Spewing, I wonder what that was, that first one. Oh no, it's taking a treble. What happened to my trebles? I've only got two. All right guys, I've just gone to my tackle box and I'm just taking off some trebles off another lure. I'm gonna replace those ones that are slightly bigger, slightly stronger, and most importantly, there's gonna be three prongs instead of two. Let's see guys, I'm pretty much just looking over the edge. See all that, all those rocks, right? Sometimes they're just there, even if it's pretty much midday. You can see the sun's just right there. Now guys, I'm getting some weird looks as I go around here, so plenty of people out and about. But there's 50,000 of you, so I best keep going. <laughs> Look, we're gonna, we're gonna continue grinding, guys. Well, I guess it's not really a grind. We've just kind of had a had a bit of a moment with the hard bodies, and now we're just gonna try with the plastics. The only problem is I'm battling dogs in the water and all kinds of bad conditions. You guys can probably see behind me, there's that jetty. I'm gonna give that a go. So that's where we're walking around the corner now. Caught one, one brim so far, so we're off a donut. So we know that this works. But for the amount of casts that we're doing, is there something a bit more effective? Yeah, they're certainly following it. We'll try a little one first while I can still see by looking above on the water. Get some more data for you. So what have we got? What's the shroom got here with him? So here's the box, guys. Let's open up the stash. This gladiator bingo might be the go. It's a bit of a fat one though. Bit of a fatter diver, but definitely smaller. The hooks are a bit sus, suspect. And we've got the Strike Pro one, which has no hooks. <laughs> All right, we can't go that way. We're going to go here, gladiator bingo. Quite similar, so I'll hold up the shad. This was the diver silver wolf shad, and that's the bingo, smaller. Going through there. Just right under that pontoon, they're still skipping around those prawns or fish. Yeah, actually, they're probably, I think they're jelly prawns, those ones. Oh, yes. Yeah. Time to find out. I have no idea. Check that out. There we go, nice tailor right there. I'm going to move spots. Just a couple of really small, small fish, a brim and a tailor. Just getting out of here now. It's a hot one. There we go, straight away, straight away, straight away, straight away, straight away, first cast. Believe but that was a good run. Stay away from that boat, please. Stay away from the edge, there's oysters everywhere it's right up against the bank oh that's rubbing that's rubbing rubbing bit of rub bit of rubbish action oh. he's out now he's just there oh wow three two one oh snapped how lucky is that so glad that i stuck around with this lure this profile first that thinner minnow style 
change it to a brown color because the water is a little bit clear it's not apparent like i said because of the overcast conditions and we picked up this fella right here that's it that's the shot Let's let him go and i just want to point out that all those rocks there are lined with oysters and that is pretty much why there's going to be brim all the way along here just needed to find that right color it's looking pretty good right now if i could pick up a few more strike pro here we go just a subtle change and it's made the difference Let's see if we pick up a few more look at that right on can't believe it this is third cast this one's a flatty this one's a flatty guys Hmm, just give me some stick over here. Maybe it's not a flatty. Maybe it's not, maybe it's a brim. I'm gonna lock up a bit more. My gosh, what's going on there? All right, I'm gonna have to do what we did before and just walk, pull it out of there. So I don't wanna to touch my drag too much. No way, no way. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on here? No way, no way. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. Oh, wow, wow. This must be a good fish. It's taken a while to control this guy. My gosh. What do you guys reckon? Please don't find the bottom. Please don't find rocks. What's going on here? What's going on here? Rod tip high. What are you doing, mate? Oh, you put me under the pump. No way. Heart rate shooting up, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. I see color. What do you guys reckon it is? What do you guys reckon it is? What do you guys reckon it is? Don't want to pull anything. How can I have so much energy? It's going against the side once again. Oh my gosh. Good fish, what it, whatever it is, I doubt it's a brim now. Just walking to the right, guiding it. I'm gonna guide it to the to the beach. Oh my gosh, I felt something slip there. I felt something slip. Whatever it is, your guess is as good as mine. We've been fighting for about five minutes still going it was a third cast look at that it's just pumping it's just grinding out a few meters I've been walking to the right my gosh yes it's been five minutes and um, I don't think I was recording properly but still you can see that it's still going hard it's up against the side a bit I don't want to pull a hook now. This is some good pressure. Oh, I almost slipped in a crack on the on the ground there. Gotta watch my step. Oh, come on, hold up. My heart rate is like boom 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 boom. <laughs> what is it? Look at that. It's just right there. It scared something off the top. Doesn't want to come in. There's a bit of current out that way, so it's just... Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. It's just right there, out of sight. All right, here we go. What have we got? There we go, walk back. Yes, got him. Just got to hold it there. Looks like the tail treble. 
keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming for you. Keep it tight. Yes. <laughs> ah, Trevally, guys. Not bad, guys. Not bad. What a silver Trevally. What a silver Trevally. Got to make sure that those hooks. Yeah, that should be fine. Look at that. I got a good hook up on the tail and underneath. Don't think it was getting away unless I was putting too much pressure. Then I would have just ripped it out of its uh, flesh. They pull so hard, Trevally. They pull so hard for their size and half the time they're pulling so hard that they just rip the hook straight out. All right, guys, just quickly let that fish go just then and there. That Trevally took the um, took that lure. As you can see, it's just floating over there. Let me get it in for you guys. Just pull that in. There it is. Strike Pro. Can't believe it. Just a little change like that, right? Can't believe that made all the difference. Now this plastic here, I did retrofit it with um, owner ST14s. I think 12s or yeah, 12s or 14s. I think I think they're 14s. Super sticky. Now a question I get asked is, can you use hard bodies anywhere in the Parramatta River? And the answer is, well, the short answer is yes. You can use pretty much the same hard bodies that you see in my videos and do the same kinds of actions and retrieves and you will catch fish pretty much anywhere but you have to remember that there may be better options you know these these crankbaits that I'm using well you know I use surface and all kinds of other hard bodies as well but let's just um, just referring to crankbaits in general Okay, there might be, you know, hard bodies come in all kinds of styles and actions and they're made to be fished in certain ways. There's a lot of unique shapes and unique techniques out on the market. And so, yeah, in general, you have hard bodies that will cover pretty much every situation that you can think of fishing in Parramatta River. There we go, on. We're on. We're on there. Pulled it. Pulled that one. Hooks may be getting a little bit blunt. We've caught a few fish now. So the Strike Pro has a much more subtle action. I can feel it. It's not so strong. So, some, some hard bodies have a really strong action and some don't. This one doesn't. So today they, they prefer this color and maybe the action as well is contributing to that. I would say that I'm not really hitting the bottom up, up until about halfway in or towards yeah the, the half towards me. Here we go. What's that? Got it. I paused it and we got it. I was like, what's that? This is what's that, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if that's going to show up on the camera there. I was just looking at it th thinking, there's my door. And out of the blue, this thing just comes zipping in. I'm like, what's that? See that? That was no problem at all. I guess that's why I grab it the way I do. I don't have troubles doing that. There's no need to just change it up. And now comes that corner treble, tail treble. Came rushing in and rushing back out. <laughs> really nice overcast conditions today. And they were tuned on that hard body, that Strike Pro. Can't wait to get back out here. But for now, guys, if you want to keep watching, I'm going to put up a couple of videos on the channel. If you got any questions, make sure to put it down in the comments section down below. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. There's always new videos coming and I'll catch you guys next time.